D here. Let's paint a pirate. Uh, yeah, I don't normally paint uh, models for videos. It is something that I really want to do, though. Uh, yeah, did this one here. <sighs> it's okay. You know, could I do better? Yeah, hopefully this one is. I paint models. I've been painting them a long time, and uh, they're a little boring, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but, you know, I much rather like terrain, which is kind of what I'm known for, uh, if anybody knows me. But uh, that being said, uh, hopefully you like this video. We use a little oils. It's a bit different than your normal, or what you would normally say your normal YouTube video for painting models. Without further ado, let's go. So, here we go. We got some 3D models. We got the pirate captain. And then we also have a uh, ash waste rogue dock. Um, we have the models primed a white beigey color. Um, I did a little dry brush with some more white beforehand so we could pick out some more details. But yes, we're going to start with GW Washits. Um, and what this is, is to, well, like I said, I've painted a lot of models. Um, yeah, I, I've lost count of how many models I've painted, but, uh, yeah, I figured we'd start this a little bit differently instead of using my oils to set the shadows. Um, yeah, I kind of painting in reverse here a little bit. Um, we're going to use these washes on a white base here. Uh, I know there's lots of words and phrases, slap chop and all of that other niceness to use paint. Uh, yeah, I figured, you know what, let's let's break the mold here a little bit. Um, now, nah, these are not going to be award winning uh, paint jobs. That's just, I, I'm not looking for that. You know anymore the best paint job i i did that years ago um <laughs> at least that's what i thought i actually like these models a heck of a lot more mainly because i have way more fun painting them but yeah we're going to use a different levels of uh, gw wash to set the uh, base shadows which is what this is doing um yeah if you notice the darks are on the lower ends i'm trying to push this around. Uh, this is actually, I'm using water to push this around a little bit more. Um, and this is just to break the details out. Um, over the years, I would rather get right to it. Um, I'm using wet blending on brushes a lot of times. This is a newer brush that I got. Um, and I think it's a number four. It just wasn't holding enough paint for me. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this hand here. And then, uh, yeah, I, at some point here, I'm gonna switch to my number six, which is what I really like been like to be using lately. Um, but yeah, we're, we're basically just, we're putting a flesh tone on and a highlight. Um, we are not trying to be, uh, well, we're trying to be somewhat uh, surgical with these hits um, but you know it's not the end of the world if the it smudges a little bit we're gonna clean it up with the oils later um, yeah all right so now it's gonna be a series of metallic colors uh, this is a copper and you know I know it's just let's paint a sump pirate so but I can't just do one little stupid model um, I <sighs> Once again, I just cannot stand spending so much time on these little guys all the time. There's so much more terrain and world building to be doing. Um, but, you know, I wanted to get these guys painted up. I got a competition in some city radio discord and this uh, doc is for our uh, role playing campaign uh, that uh, we're Jay and I and the guys are doing, um, which you know, hopefully you're enjoying that. But uh, yeah, you're just following a series of metals. Now, one of the nice things about doing that wash um, first, and yes, I did let it totally dry. Um, 
you really are using less paint on the spots, the higher spots at this point. Um, I suppose you could say it would be detailing. Um, not, eh, eh, eh. I, I don't even know what to call this. The truth is I was kind of making this up as I go along. But uh, yeah, we're using a wet blend. Yeah, all right, I got my nice number six brush out now. This is great. Cause uh, yeah, you, you barely have to dip any paint on this thing afterwards. The water is held in the, the ferrules and it just keeps pushing paint, um, acrylic paint. So yeah, we're gonna add just a little bit of flesh tone to it to lighten up the gray. And we're gonna make little dabs. And then we're gonna do it one more time. Just dab, dab, dab. Um, yeah, you can see why I'm getting bored with painting models like this, because <laughs> it's really time consuming on such a little dude. <laughs> We're going to be doing an awful lot more with pirates coming up here. Um, I don't know what my deal is, but lately I just want to do pirates, which is pretty cool. Um, not terrain wise though. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a, a hive wall coming up here that I've got a video for you guys. Almost ready. Um, we're going to launch this one first though. And yeah, we got a little sped up footage here. Footage here. This is, uh, I, I can't remember what the GW green is for it, but yeah, we're going to use this and highlight up once just on the high spots. If you notice, this paint really is pretty thin. Um, I, I really want the, uh, the wash work that I did to be coming out a lot at this point. Um, this model already has ton of paint on it um, with the priming and the dry brush steps that I used um, to set the the whites um, or the lights however you want to you want to state it but uh, yeah and here's that outcast dock um, he's <laughs> yeah you can see what I exactly what I'm doing with the color choices here a little bit easier on him with that cloak so yeah these are what they look like after I'm done with with that now remember this is a number six brush that I'm using here um, I basically got all this work done in probably 35 40 minutes uh, not including dry time of the wash but uh, now comes the fun part here we go um, this is using oil paint a little newer again or not newer but um, differently than what I normally do so I'm gonna dab a uh, a contrasting color to the yellow which happens to be magenta and I know I hope there was not a collective heart attack from some people when we did this remember this is oil paints I'm using here and they work quite a bit differently than acrylics do so now we're going with uh, a pair of umbers that we're gonna get on the rest of the model and what we're gonna do is we're gonna dab this on and mush it in um, as you can probably see, I'm not being very careful about where I'm putting all these colors. Uh, the, the real trick here is to just get the oil paint down and get a mix, uh, a startled mix of uh, the, the color palette that I'm doing. Now there's a little bit of black that I'm adding with this one. Um, but yeah, it's various dark browns. Uh, I think I might have a little bit of a light brown. On him, I didn't use quite as much magenta. But yeah, that's what they look like after I get all that. Now, here's the trick. I think this is actually correctly stated as a wash. So what I'm doing there is with another uh, paintbrush, I've simply got it loaded with clear spirits and we're dabbing. This is very, there's not a lot of pushing of the brush on this. I'm letting the spirits do the work and basically it's actually doing what the word wash uh, was intended. It's washing the oils off the tops and then having it sink into the, into the recesses. And we'll get a little closer here. I stumbled upon this accidentally doing a couple of pieces of terrain a little while ago and I really thought it'd be cool to do on these models but um, so this step right here and the next step 
took less than 10 minutes to achieve. Um, before I applied the oils, of course, I let the acrylics dry fully. Um, I think total time frame for both of these models start to finish might have been an hour and a half, two hours, somewhere along there. I really wasn't keeping track because I was having too much fun. Um, now you can, uh, this is the, the wiping uh, of the excess oils um, just off the tops. And this is one of the things that I want to, you know, I, I keep spouting about how awesome oil paints are. And that's because it works in a reverse order. Um, you're not making additives, you're, you're subtracting uh, color. Uh, and it's kind of like highlighting, only I'm doing it with a sponge. Um, his character is coming out pretty quick here. Um, now you can use Q-tips. I, I thought, what the heck, I'll show you the most basic way of doing this. And I just use it a makeup sponge here. This is all extremely light. And we're gonna run some close-ups here um, just to see what it looks like right after the oil wash. Um, yeah, this is this is an amazing process that I've I've found here, and I'm going to be doing tons more like this. Um, yeah, it, this was an awful lot of fun. Now, these pictures are when it's absolutely 100% still wet. I mean, I just I took them two seconds after I got done sponging everything off. The next pictures that are going to be coming up are going to be after it dried for a day. Yeah, you can see <coughs> the uh, the hand there looks a bit muddled because the oil paint's still wet, and the uh, the shoulder plates look just a little bit shinier uh, simply because you're picking up the reflection of the spirits and the oil paints uh, while they're still wet. That will change as she dries. The next time we put these out, oh man, they look great. <laughs> For the small amount of work that I had to do. Um, yeah, and here we are at the end, the favorite part, the, uh, the base rimming, you know, base black. Yeah, it just, there's nothing like it. <laughs> and here you go. We got a few end shots here and uh, I'll be back to you in a second. painting D style. Next set's gonna be even different than that. I have way too much fun doing this now, you guys. Thank you so much for spending time watching me. As always, I'm just amazed at the response we get from these things. I hope you like the video. Leave it in the comments if there's any issues you've seen or something you want me to try. I'm open to everything these days. You guys have a great night, and as always, please like and subscribe. <laughs>